Hey everyone, so this is the penultimate Bonham Carter mixed DVD reviews video because after these five I only have four more of Helena's films to watch than I've seen them all and that's a little bit scary. But for the this video we have five, four of which were good, one wasn't. So starting with the one that I watched last night, Till Human Voices Wake Us, this is with Helena and Guy Pierce, and a man is reliving a tragedy that happened in his childhood through the encounter with this woman here, who's a very mysterious woman and it actually has quite a supernatural undertone to it, and is she real, is she just a figment of his imagination? Very beautiful, very heartfelt story with a lot of emotion, and I think her character is absolutely splendid. Didn't think I was going to like this for some reason, but I loved it, and it may actually be one of my favourite Helena films, and her character, Ruby. Is beautiful. Then the one I didn't like, Shadow Play, which um, is actually in French, the entire thing's in French, which wasn't a problem, I had the subtitles on, but I just found that nothing happened. There was no real plot development, nothing exciting happened, and to be honest, I, I don't regret watching it because it's a HBC film, but it's you know, a time I could have spent watching another film. I can't pronounce the French title, um, but I will put both titles in the description in case you do wish to check it out, as it's not the easiest to get hold of. Then we have Fatal Deception, Mrs. Lee Harvey Oswald. Helena plays the wife of Lee Harvey Oswald. And it's all about how, well, partly about how she copes with life after her husband was accused of assassinating the, pre the president. Um, but also it's told through flashbacks as well, and how that actually came about and how, how she came to live with him. I think her accent is brilliant. It's a very enjoyable film. Again, I didn't think it would be my kind of film and I think perhaps if HBC wasn't in it I wouldn't like it as much. Um, so you know, it's good that she is in it because it allowed me to watch a new film. Definitely recommend it. It was something I knew very little about other than kind of the basis of it so I feel like I've had a little bit of an eye-opening education. And yeah, I definitely, definitely enjoyed this one. Two more and I think we'll leave my favourite one to last. So we have second last, Theory of Flight with Kenneth Branagh. I, I cannot I, I cannot get over Helena's performance in this. She plays a woman in a wheelchair who basically wants to have sex. She is a virgin and she wants to feel and she enlists Kenneth Branagh's character to help her and it's so emotional but there's a lot of humour in this as well. You kind of need that level of humour to kind of, you know, get through the film without having a total mental breakdown. But HBC's performance in this is just astounding. I watched it and I thought, it's not my favourite Helena character, definitely not my favourite Helena film, but out of all of her performances, I definitely think it's the most powerful and one of the most heartfelt and I think she received not enough awards for this. Um, it, to everybody who says that HBC plays the same character and she always plays the kind of Bellatrix, Tenardier, messed up, weird character, watch this, it will blow your mind. She is incredible in it and I, I cried basically from the very start and I cannot praise her acting enough in this. Uh, the last one, Lady Minerva Mundi, getting it right. This, <laughs> this is about a 31 year old man who's in a bit of a weird situation in life and he meets this very neurotic Lady Minerva Mundi, Helena's character, and this character has a lot of uh, issues in her life, which is very peculiar, very flamboyant, um, a bit odd. And the story itself is alright, you know, 1980s London was really nice to see, kind of funny, not that of complex of a film, but Minerva, Minerva is probably my favourite HBC character, at least circa 80s, 90s. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. Minerva Mundi is beautiful. There will be pictures of her on screen just now, just because I cannot get over that. Um, does contain Naked Helena at one point as well. Uh, just FYI. But yeah, loved it. So if I had to put these in order of preference, we're going to go with Getting It Right, Till Human Voices Wake Us, Theory of Flight, Fatal Deception, and then Shadow Play, which is like portrait shin noise or something like that. I, I did German at school, not French. Yeah. If you have any thoughts on any of those films, do let me know any suggestions for any other videos or any other films that I should check out, let me know. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye.